I'm Teresa Hauk, Executive Editor of the Journal from Rockwell Automation and our partner Network Magazine. We're at the 2016 Automation Fair event in Atlanta and I'm at the Grace Engineered Products booth with my buddy Dan. So Dan, tell me what your company does. Well, what we do is we keep, we keep people away from live voltage, and we do that in many different forms, and we're really excited to be at this event because we're introducing a new product today, the Flex Mount Voltage Indicator. And what we've done is we've taken our time-tested voltage indicator circuitry, incorporated into a much smaller device, and allows us great opportunity in its mounting and functionality. Let me show you real quick. So you'll see here we've got the, the voltage indicator, and it can mount on top of a small motor mounted disconnect, on the side of a small mounted disconnect, or anywhere around it. So four different mounting locations. It mounts either through an M20 hole or a three quarter inch knockout. What's really unique about that is now you can put the disconnect right at the point of use and verify the presence and absence of voltage. Let me show you real quick. So you'll see that there's voltage flashing on the flex mount unit. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the disconnect and you're gonna watch that go dark. And now there is no voltage, so you know you're isolated. For mechanical lockout tag out, you're gonna hit a start or a jog button to release any other types of stored energy. But at that point, you're complete and you can do your bump test and you're all set. In addition to that, our, our time-tested circuitry gives us the opportunity to see when we have a lost leg or a stuck blade. And I'm gonna show you what that lost leg looks like now by representing what a, a lost leg on L1 would look like you'll see that L1 goes dark and then there is voltage flowing on the ground but you see that anyone walking past can see that across the room what we want to do is get them to pick up the phone call the maintenance group or the electrical group and take care of the issue so the flex mount voltage indicator incorporates the best of our existing R3W series products gives us the opportunity to take that trusted verification and put it into many more places. Well, I can see why the attendees here in your booth are excited about that. So let's step over now and take a look at your VTS. Perfect. So now we're looking at the voltage test station. Tell us about that, Dan. Well, the voltage test station really is a unique device in that we take the trusted indication that we had talked about on the voltage indicator and marry it with test points that take a hazardous situation and make it completely safe. And I'm going to walk you through that process. And what we're going to do is come up, open the cover. We're going to see that voltage is present. From there, I'm going to grab my time-tested, trusted meter. I'm going to turn it on, verify that it is working, and I have power. I'm going to come up. I'm going to see that there's voltage present. I'm just going to take a really quick test that there is voltage. And as I do so, you can see that the voltage is present. I'm going to reach up. I'm going to throw my disconnect. We're going to watch the stored energy in the system go away. As it does, I know that it's safe to come back, insert my probes, do my face-to-face -face and face-to-ground testing. I insert into L1 to ground, nothing. L2 to ground, nothing. L3 to ground, nothing. Face to face, nothing. Face to face, nothing. And then my last measurement is one to three. And no voltage present there. So now that I know everything is cleared and isolated, my meter is working, I'm going to take my meter around the corner, verify that it is still working. As I do so, there is no voltage present. It is working. I'm going to go ahead, close the cover, put on my lock, and know that everything is completely isolated from the VTS unit down. That's fantastic. And we've got one more exciting product to look at. Let's go take a look at that now. So now we're here looking at the Graceport Plus. Tell me about this, Dan. Well, Teresa, what we've done is we've taken a, a really good idea and made it even better in the Graceport, and we've made it larger so we can incorporate all sorts of different functionality that our customers would like. And you'll see that we have an HMI cover along with added Graceport component trees. And what's unique about it is we do it now in three different sizes, and it's intended to be a, a HMI cover only because people are spending uh, and incorporating these high quality panel view HMIs 
and then they're being exposed to dust, dirt, and a nasty environment. And even though they carry a 4X rating, they still get some of these contaminants on. By going to the Graceport Plus cover, they get a great cover. It protects it from falling debris, people walking past, any types of thing flying around in the environment, and keeps all that dust, dirt, and grime off of the screen. So it's really unique in that respect. And then we can also add that extra componentry that they may have always wanted but didn't have room for in the past, and we're going to put it all under the same cover. So these are fantastic new products that are really taking off quickly because they are solving problems with customers regarding their HMIs and protecting them. It is a lot of flexibility and there's so much more that you can learn about these products as well as other products that Grace offers. So go to the website that you see on your screen and learn about how they can help you. I'm Teresa Hauk at the 2016 Automation Fair event. I'll see you next time.